Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another review, but this one's a little bit different. I have picked up a drugstore, I think it's mainly a holiday palette. I've been only been able to find these during the holiday season year after year. And of course I had to pick it up and review it for you guys. So obviously from the title, you guys know that I got the NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All. This is the third palette that they have come out with as far as this type of packaging setup and around the same time. So here is what the box looks like. Obviously you get 15 eyeshadows, you are to get four blushes, and in this particular palette you get three highlighters. Every year it is a bit different and don't you worry, I would not be an eyeshadow junkie if I did not own them all to compare them all for you guys. So stay tuned for that towards the middle of the video. So first off I want to talk about this palette. This you can find at Ulta or NYX's website. It is $25 and you can use that $350 off of 10 or five off of 15 or 20% off off of one item at Ulta. So that's exactly what I did. So I got mine for less than $25, which is awesome. What I've always loved about these palettes is it brings a very big mirror, so I always love using that. Here are the eyeshadows for this year, which of course one of my little things fell out, but that's okay, let's pull this one out. So here are the eyeshadows, and as you guys can tell, there are a lot of beautiful colors in this one. This one's not so neutral or so cool tone as the last two years of this palette. This one really sticks out, and I really love the color combos. It's just something that I look at it and I get so inspired by that I absolutely love it. So you get your 15 eyeshadows here. They are mattes, there are satin, and there are shimmer eyeshadows in here. So you do get a variety of different finishes. If you slide this completely out, if I can do it, here are your four blushes, and then you get your three highlighters down here. I am not going to lie to you. I am not the biggest fan of this area right here and honestly I tend to forget to use it more so than the eyeshadows themselves but as far as for this one particularly I have tried them so I can tell you about them so I'm going to go ahead and swatch these eyeshadows for you guys so you guys can see the payoff pigmentation and if they are, are crappy or they're good eyeshadows so here are the first five eyeshadows you have um, a few mattes a, a few shimmer and a few satin in here so there is a variety of them. Um, some of them took some building to do. These obviously don't have names. The first one took a little bit of building, but that is a matte one. I have used it on my eyes and it builds beautifully, so I can't complain about that one. Um, as far as uh, the rest of them, they don't seem too bad. They're actually pretty good as far as the building up that I had to do. These are probably one or two passes per eyeshadow. Here is the second row. As you can see, these are a little bit more pigmented. This orange one is amazing. I absolutely love it. This green blue one is the one I'm wearing all over my lid. This whole palette I am wearing on my eyes today so you guys can see it in action or at least see it on my eyes. This center one is a matte. It is a beautiful crease color, a transition color. It doesn't look like much as a swatch, but it's, it is beautiful on the eyes. And this one down here is amazing. This white one has a different texture than the rest of them. It feels soft and creamy, like a cream to powder kind of. This last one, it's beautiful, but it is it does bunch up. Like once you put your finger in there, you do see it bunch up because it's so pigmented. And here is the last row. This gold one has the same texture as the previous shadow that I mentioned to you guys. Um, this one right here, which is a nice, it reminds me of Wild Brulee. That one is beautiful. I love to wear this one all over the lid if I want to set something or as my brow bone highlight, which I have on. It's completely matte. So these are the last five of the eyeshadows. So now that you have seen the swatches, each of these eyeshadows is 0.03 ounces and they are calling some of these pressed pigments. So I am assuming that these two would be pressed pigments. These are the ones that have the most pigmentation, the most BAM 
when you looked at them as a swatch and on your eyes you get the four blushes obviously those are 0 0.07 ounces and then the illuminators are 0 0.14 ounces so I'm gonna go ahead now that you have seen the eyeshadows I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them and then give you a whole overview of the palette here are the four blushes they are soft to the touch they're super powdery and some of them are not as pigmented as others so that's just by swatching them as you guys can see and to be honest with you all of these are very peach toned orange toned blushes there's not one that i could say that's a pure pink or a neutral based uh, blush these are all very peachy uh, terracotta kind of colors here are the three highlights you get a white champagne color a like a very gold gold one and then the last one is a pinky kind of color so oh it's the opposite I'm sorry this one is the pinky one then the center one is the gold and this one's the white champagne one they're all very shimmery very highlighted um bl they're highlighted illuminators they are soft but they're a little bit powdery and they may be too much for some people all right so how does this palette perform honestly i can tell you that just by the i i've used this quite a few times and i have done a, a quite a few different looks with this palette every time that i do an eyeshadow look with this palette i can't say that there is one eyeshadow that is a complete dud they all perform pretty good for an, a drugstore eyeshadow this one is my second favorite i'm going to show you the other ones previously but this one is my second favorite i love the colors this orange one is amazing. I love to use this one as my transition color. I start off always with this one. I am wearing this one today on my lids. It does take a little bit of building, but not too bad. It's actually not bad. When you do put your brush in these eyeshadows, you do get fallout. You do get kick up from the eyeshadow, but that is expected from a drugstore eyeshadow. It's I'm okay with that. I, it was expected. This one right here is a beautiful, beautiful matte, completely matte uh, brow bone highlight. I love that one. This one, like all these colors, I can't say that there is one eyeshadow that looks exactly like the other. It does perform beautifully. I wore a complete matte eyeshadow look just with this palette and it lasted all day. Obviously, I always wear a primer but it did increase, it did not fade, it stayed on all day, and I loved the way that all of the matte eyeshadows that I use blended on my eyes. None of them looked muddy, none of them looked like they were all one same color. It looked great. I actually put these two on my eyelid together. I mixed those two on my eyelids, and you can actually see the color on my eyelid. It wasn't just like, oh, what did you just do to your eyelid? It looks like you have nothing on your eyelid. I am very happy with this palette. It is a nice drugstore palette. It is a nice gift. I think that they did a heck of a lot better job this year than they did the previous year. Now, as far as the blushes and the highlighters, again, I think the highlighters, um, I feel like these two look different in the pan, but they look very similar swatched and on. This one's more of a peachy pink. So for me, this is more like a blush topper than it is a highlight. You again can use these and all of these as eyeshadows. So you do not have to just think, oh great, I'm never going to use them because they, I'm just not into those type of highlighters. These are beautiful eyeshadows. These right here, our eyelid shades are beautiful. They reflect the light beautifully and they pack on a punch. As far as the blushes, this one right here is the one that I would say is the most pink out of all of these. These are more orange terracotta based blushes and you do not get any bronzer in this holiday palette so you have to keep that in mind i think that these feel beautifully but they are very powdery and they do have some fallout to them so that is the overview of this one so if you are curious about the previous years i do have the last two years so i'm going to show you those and tell you what the the differences of each palette is so if you do own the last two maybe you're wondering do I really care to own this one because I honestly thought the same I wasn't gonna get it but then when I saw the eyeshadows I fell in love and I was crossing my fingers that they 
performed so much better than last year and it actually did so i'm going to start off with the original original the original looked like this this was the nyx but naked eye eyeshadow palette these were more a uh, smoky plummy cool tone shadows and let me tell you every time i wear this one i always always get compliments on what is on my eyes what did i use every single time even my aunt who does makeup, who has done makeup for years on people. Every time I wear this, she's always asking me, what is on your eyes? So I'm going to show you, obviously, this is the first one and this is this year. So there is a huge difference in the eyeshadows that you get. So if you do have the first one and you're wondering, do I need this one or do I feel like I already own the colors? they're completely different so i am happy about that so i do get a lot of eyeshadows it is the same format now as far as the uh bottom section here in this one particularly you had gotten two high oh. wow. Wow. guess you didn't write me out all right now that we've got it back together in this particular year the first one you had gotten two highlighters which is a yellowy champagne gold and then you got more of an RNG based I would say this is another blush topper you did get the matte uh, a matte bronzer in this one which I did like as far as the blushes these are very very pink tone and this one was the most shimmeriest one out of all of them they are pigmented this one's a cool toned uh, blush this one right here was more of a pinky red and then this one is a peachy color these were very pigmented I did like these blushes um I didn't wear this one as much this one I used more of like another blush topper but the pigmentation was there so I didn't mind it I I still like them so that was the first palette. Now this one was last year's palette. This one was called the Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. This one I thought was going to be amazing because I got more of my golds and more of neutral colors. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to get use out of this one. So I went ahead and purchased it. So here is this year and here was last year. So again, they are different. You do get more neutral eyeshadows last year than you did get this year. So obviously you would think this is more wearable. This one was my least favorite. The mattes were horrible in this palette. Some of these eyeshadows were so chalky that I had to really build them up or put a base on them in order for me to build them up. So for instance, this matte one right here, you would think this is a great one. Look, I'm literally pressing super hard in there. And look, nothing. I got absolutely nothing as far as a as any payoff whatsoever. Look at that. It was so bad. I look at that one. See, there was no payoff whatsoever as far as the actual matte. So I was kind of bummed about that. And the whole point of this was it was supposed to be an everyday neutral palette and you do need a brow bone people you do need a brow bone some of the some of the shimmer ones like i said was just too chalky i don't know if you guys can see that and there was no payoff on these as as you would think that you would get from a shadow like this like this one i thought was like bam right in your face i literally put this on and i did not get any build up all I got was clumping I don't know if you guys can even see that swatch so honestly there was a few in here that I did like other than that I think that this one was the worst one this is the one that I least pull out and I didn't return it for the sake of reviewing for you guys but this one was one that I did not recommend I think I even did a full video about this one last year and I remember saying it sucked so I didn't like it now as far as the blushes these blushes are blushes that I would never use I never use them this is way too pink for me I didn't like it this one was the only one and it was not pigmented at all all so i couldn't even get any pigmentation out of that blush at all these two right here i wouldn't use those either they're way too cool tone for me and then you got three um highlighters these two are very very similar there was nothing that that separated them this one in the pan looks a little bit darker than this one but i didn't feel like you got any different 
look on your face. And then you got again that yellow gold, which how many yellow golds can I get in one palette? So this one was the one that I hated. Honestly, I hate to use that word, but I never liked it. it was, I, I was so happy to see the colors. There's only a handful in here that I would use, like this one right here. I would use that one, that one. It's still chalky, but at least it gave me some sort of payoff. See, it gave me some sort of a payoff, but this one was the worst out of them. This one, honestly, is the one that came out this year. The underneath it all is a beautiful one. It is definitely in the running for, I would say the first one and this one are my top favorite, hands down. I absolutely love it. I love how it performs on my eyes. I love the look that it came out. I can see all of my colors in my eyes. I didn't have to... Um, go back and forth on the eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. You do get fallout. You do get a, a powdery kick up, which is expected again from an eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, but it is not bad. This year is not bad. So that is my review on this year's NYX holiday palette. I will list it down below if you are interested in checking it out. Don't forget to use a coupon if you are going to purchase it at Ulta or use your Ulta points or even ask for it as a stocking stuffer. It's a very inexpensive palette, $25. I think that that is is a great budget friendly palette for someone if you're thinking of getting somebody a gift or if you're wanting to get something for yourself so that is it for me guys if you are new to my channel welcome to the family don't forget to subscribe like this video if you did like it I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear Bye guys. <laughs>